folks, and welcome back to another lesson. This one is going out for Mr. Robert O'Rourke, who's a patron and decided that he would quite like to learn this one. So let's dive right in with the tuning. The whole guitar has to go down uh, two frets or one step, okay? So the E becomes D, the A becomes G, the D becomes C, the F, no, the G becomes F, the B, that becomes A, and the D, uh, E becomes D. Phew! So lithium tuning basically. In terms of tone, I would either use a big muff or a like an orange amp in a box style tone. Something, you know, or even a rat really, something that's going to give you that fuzzy quality. So I've gone for the Jupiter FX Wallow because it just sounds gnarly. Which I like very much. So let's uh, dive in with the first riff. Three, four. into the verse where lots of that repeats but slightly different at the beginning so we have that bit there right and then you go into the next part right so we'll stop there we have a lightly palm muted part on the first uh, first eighth note That's the first phrase, then you repeat it. But you can either let that ring out for a whole um, beat, or you can do a little flourish. Clean, that would be. So entirely up to you. And then when you get to the eighth fret, you do two there. Like that, and then you're up to the tenth fret. And you're gonna do um, like a half step bend and release. You do two of them and then down to the eighth fret. And then back into that little pattern, right? So, that fir the first four bars. And then you're into the next four bars, which go. Okay, so you've got, you already know that from the last bit, but then you've got this. You can either hang on this um, fifth fret and slide up to the eighth fret, but I think it goes back down to the third fret, so you get down there. Clean that would be. Like that, okay, so, you know, up to you what you do there. To be honest, I would just keep it lazy and stay on the fifth fret. So you've got... And then when you get to the uh, third fret, you play... That hangs out for a beat and a half, and then you do up, down, up. And then you move up one fret to the fourth fret and do four. Okay, and then you're into the verse. That goes like this. Let's do that clean. So we have, uh, let's do the first four bars. We've got... Cool, isn't it? So you know this part already, right? And then you get to the first fret. Okay. Probably go with my first finger there. Give you a bit more control over the floppy strings. And then again, speed. Second half of that phrase then goes. Let me 
play that clean for you. So again, same part as before. And you're gonna go um, third fret up to eight. Like that, okay? So the whole thing slowly. plays around three times and then you go into the chorus which is just single note stuff a couple of variations but the uh, first and third time go around again right we play that clean and then we'll do the second and fourth variants we have pretty cool isn't it so we've got pull off fifth to the third on the fifth string. You can use your third finger if you want, but I always go with my little. Little rest in between the third fret on the fourth string. Then you've got a pull off, and then slide up to the fifth fret. At least that's how I play it, it's pretty easy. And it keeps it nice and fluid. Now when you get to the third fret, you do little um, half step bend and release down to the first fret, and then and then you're back in. That's the first fret, uh, that's the first beat of the next bar again. Okay, place that the first and the third time. The second time we'll go through the variants there. Very subtle. That's the same, and then you have. Really subtle difference, you just play rather than that's a quarter note basically rather than an eighth note. All right, and then the fourth time again, that's the same. Oops, screwed that up. We've got so you've got third fret to fifth fret. And then you bend and release. Then you're going to repeat the verse and the chorus. The second time around the chorus though, rather than playing that, you're going to play this. Again, clean. Repeat. Couple of cute little pull offs on the uh, first fret and the open string. Then you do. I would use either my second or third finger then to, to slide up to the fifth fret on the um, fifth string. Then we're into the solo. Uh, Robert, I haven't um, tabbed the solo. I don't have time. So if you do want the solos, then uh, give me a shout and I will tab that for you. Then we have this. Again, it's just uh, five chords, right? So you've got the root and the fifth. That's it. So the first chord is slid down and back up. And again. And then you've got um, six wax, right? Eighth notes. So cover all the strings. You could palm mute as well if you want. Depends how raucous your tone is, really. And then again. And there I put in a little uh, percussive whack in between the really subtle isn't it but it's <laughs> hear that because those are all on the upstroke so on the offbeat right and you're done that is it hope you enjoyed that one 
see you again soon.